Hello everyone and today we are going to be looking into introducing new crabs as well as keeping them alive and creating a iso tank or an isolation tank. When you first get your hermit crabs, since they're being shipped around a lot, they have had little time to de-stress, they've been eat they haven't been eating much, they probably haven't had that much access to the proper salt and freshwater baths. So you need to make sure to isolate them to reduce post-purchase stress. This happens because of the reasons I mentioned earlier and it can cause your hermit crabs to dig down to de-stress. If you let hermit crabs dig down to de-stress in the deep substrate, then they're more likely to die in the first month than if you bring them into an isolation tank. This is because in the isolation tank, you can closely monitor them and make sure that they're eating well and drinking plenty of water. Now I will give you a tutorial on how to set up an isolation tank. We will begin by getting a small tank and I'm using a five gallon tank. It is preferably a glass tank. I find it's best to purchase or adopt multiple hermit crabs at a time because then while well, they're in the isolation tank, they also have a buddy with them. Since they live in colonies in the wild, they need to have other hermit crabs with them. And this could fit up to five new hermit crabs in it, I'd say. This is very temporary. This is only for the first month of keeping them Keep in mind you won't need to use this method if it is your first hermit crabs. You have some shallow substrate so they cannot completely bury themselves. I have half an inch here. It is a mix of play sand and eco earth. In the main tank you obviously want to have deep substrate. This is 6 inches at the front and 8 inches at the back. Once you've done that you can start adding in the decorations. And the decorations I use are just the basics. We have a f uh, two water bowls, quite small because you don't have much room in your tank. You're also going to need some shells. I provide about six or seven shells. But you obviously want to make your shells fit for your hermit crab size, not just shells that are too big or small for them. I also have this small little shell for their food dish. I also have this piece of trolla wood. This is for them to climb on. This is just a piece of coral I have and I will, and their coconut hut. Last of all, I have this little plant which they can use to hide under or climb on. So I have put in their water dishes and you can see that I added in some little rocks and a shell to help them get out. When you have hermit crabs that are quite small, I sometimes find it hard to get out of a large water bowl. The next thing I'm going to be doing is adding in their hide and I'm going to be putting this next to where the heat bat mat is going to be to keep them nice and warm. Now I have added in the decorations in the way that doesn't take up too much space so there's still plenty of space for them to move around in. So now we're going to be adding in the shells and the food dish. So I'm going to put the food dish right outside of their hut. I want to have it close to where they're mainly going to be, which is in the coconut. Now I am going to be adding in the shell. They love changing shells when you first get them as they've obviously got a new selection of fun and interesting shells and shells provide enrichment for hermit crabs. Once you have got your hermit crabs and they have fully completed the one month period, we want to put them into the new tank. And you You'll want to monitor them for the first few days while they're in the main tank. And don't worry if they try and dig down once they get into the main tank. It is fine. We've had their time to de-stress and they've got lots of good food in their malt, malting sack. It is also very important to have this isolation tank to monitor your crabs. Something you should look out for is shell disease or shell rot, which forms on the hermit crab's exoskeleton. Also, that is very contagious, so you don't want them to be introduced into the main tank before they have completely gotten rid of that. You also want them not to have mites, which is a little parasite, that you, and they attach to the gill of the hermit crab. 
Hi everyone. So I have actually gotten my new hermit crabs and this is one of them. He is a little boy and he is actually really, really tiny. I'm going to give you a little comparison with my finger. So they were not purchased from the pet stock shop but rehomed. Okay. I have another hermit crab in the hide and I also got some of the shells from the person and there is, I got five shells. Here is my second hermit crab. I don't know if you can see her but she is right in there and I've been eating some banana and oats. The little bubby over here has changed shells quite a bit but he's decided on a small white shell. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. And I will soon be making a video about tips for Australian hermit crab owners. Goodbye! What's new, pussycat?